Hey everyone, Jessica here from Creators Couture and in this quick video I am going to show you how I illustrated pearls such as these using specially designed Photoshop brushes and color palettes. And as you can see um, on my little sheet here of these ones that I've already created, it's really cool and you can create like lots of different colors and textures and it's very like, in this case it's very realistic, but I'm doing these um, for abstract art actually. So um, we will get started and the good thing is is that I've taken all of the guesswork out of it for you so you can just um, have fun and create. And right now these color palettes and the brushes are available on my Patreon but I will have them available as soon as possible on my website Creators Couture. So um, I've created these uh, tool presets here and I saved them as tool presets um, because a lot of they have, what do you call it? They have flow saved on some of them. <clears throat> and this is so that if uh, some of the people that are using an older version of Photoshop can load them as tool preset. And if you are, and for the, with the same file, if you're using a newer version of, of Photoshop, you can load them as an ABR brush as well. And it'll save all of the settings such as flow and whatever, what have you. So um, just load up the tool presets. And then we have got the different color palettes here. And here are my pearl color palettes. And you can check out my other videos if you're um, unfamiliar with how to load color palettes and tool presets. But I've got um, these uh, color palettes that I have sampled from real pearls and then kind of um, tweaked them a little bit. And so we're just going to get started. And the cool thing is, is that um, here we have some samples of one I've already created, but we're going to be working on this document. And I've already set up this document for you with layers to correspond to the brush and they have different blend modes. So if you're creating your own document, what you can do is you can copy and paste this layer group over to your document and make sure it's these layers are applied as a clipping mask to whatever your base layer is. So you can draw any shape as your base layer or use uh, some lettering or a, or a letter and create a monogram, whatever it is you want for your base layer. Just make sure that those are have a clipping mask so that it clips to it and it stays on that shape. So it, I made it really easy for you. And so you just follow the layers here. They already have the blend modes applied. And so this is brush number one. And so we're just gonna go here and go to pearl number one. And then I'm gonna pick one of my color palettes. In this case, I will pick like this one here. And I'm just gonna, and I have some little hints here. So this one says fill, so I'm gonna fill the shape with this brush, that's great. And now I'm gonna to go to the second layer, brush number two, spot. So I have pearl two, and I might grab a different color palette. You don't always have to use the same color palettes. I'm, I mixed and matched them, and it can create really cool um, results. And I have spot noted here, so I'm just gonna maybe add a spot. Like, I won't cover the whole, um, what do you call it, the whole uh, shape. Okay, so then we have brush number three, side and edges. So we're gonna go to pearl three, and I will just grab this one, and let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, this is just adding a little bit of shading to the side and edges. So that's cool. And then let's go to brush number four, side and edges. This is in black. And this is just going to, we're going to add a little bit of depth here, which is good to kind of give your shape a little depth. And then we have the layer number five, brush number five, spotty, pearl five. And just going to grab a different color palette, add a little bit on my thing here. It's just a light, light screen layer. And then brush number six, it's a spot color and it can be another color. So um, in this case, I actually don't feel, you know, feel free to play around with it, but I'm gonna go down here and grab one of these opal. This one here is very subtle, but if you notice, we've got a little bit of color in here. So don't be shy to grab like an opal color palette. So I'm gonna just spot another color here. Um, brush number six. Spot can be another color. Let me just see something. And on this one, um, oh yeah, okay. Spot, let's just add it right there. That's cool. So it's like, 
it doesn't look perfect right away but the thing is is we're adding all these layers and as you build it up you really get this you know you kind of can't fake this like with one brush stroke you know it's really about the uh, building the layers and the blend modes and that creates that depth it's so beautiful that is like a pearl you know so then let's go to brush number seven I've got pearl seven here and we'll do the side and the edges this is let's here let's undo that um I'm going to grab a different color palette like this. Brush number seven. Yeah, just add like on the side, on the edges. Now let's grab brush number eight. This is actually a mixer brush and just kind of, this is already loaded with like a pearlescent kind of um, thing. And this is just adding a little bit of glow in the middle, this pearl glow. So we'll just add that. That looks cool wherever we want in the middle. Now that's brush number nine, light pressure. And I'm gonna grab a different color palette here and just use, like it says, like a light pressure and kind of don't cover the whole thing. So I'm just adding that. Now we will go brush number 10. This is also a mixer and just kind of do it on like a spot. And then brush number 11, it's also a mixer brush. And these are just adding, you can see it just adds that luminosity through your thing. So you can play around, you know, with it, but just add it in spots. Just adds a really cool luminosity. And then brush number 12, this is, let's see, your normal 100. Just add this like on a spot. Um, I'm going to use this like lightly. Oh, you know what? I will go. And I'll have to double check my blend mode here, but there we go. Yeah. And then we have brush number 13 on the sides. So this is just going to add a little bit more depth as well. And you can change the color palette even, kind of adding a little, even I might use two different color palettes, adding a little bit of depth there. And then brush number 14 is for the edges. I'm gonna grab actually like a darker one here, darker color palette, kind of, oops, it's maybe too much. Add some to the edges. And there we go. And so it's maybe not the best one that I made and I'll double check all my blend modes to make sure everything is perfect for you. But you've just got like these, um, you can see like here, you know, you've got that um, kind of a luminosity that comes through. And the thing that's cool is that you can always, um, you know, play around with the blend modes a little bit. So if you, you know, you go here, you can grab a layer and you can have different, you know, you just play with the opacities of the layers. So, you know, you can really make it your own and just depending on, you know, like what, um, what colors you're using, but that is it. And I've given you all of the brushes and you have all these color palettes so you can mix and match and play and create your own really cool pearl textures. And I think it would be really cool. Um, I might have to play around with this. I've made some monograms out of these stones, but I might try just to do like a letter, but do it with this, um, do it like all in pearl or something. I think that would be really cool for a monogram. So if you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments below. And if you want access right now to this, um, it's available on my Patreon. And uh, I hope you guys have a lot of fun creating with this and stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to show you how I created my opals.